About 100 meters behind the Divine Mercy Co. Cathedral Moliko lies the characters of the Diocese of Boya Head Office under construction. This building, constructed mainly with compressed earth blocks and reinforced concrete, will in the days ahead host all characters' offices and other dioceses and services. The construction of this building, which began in August 14, 2018, comes at the heels of inadequate office space provided to characters in the Diocese of Boya and the impact Caritas Boya has created over the years. The, the idea of uh, building an office from Caritas came during the inauguration of the, the small office that I was occupying. Because uh, you have first to know that uh, Caritas of the Diocese of Boya was created on the 22nd of August 2013. And it is on the 31st of December 2013 that uh, His Lordship Bishop Emmanuel Bushu came to bless the small space that they gave to me. It was uh, uh, about two by three uh, meter square that they gave to me. So during the blessing, Bishop came with uh, his uh, Chancellor, it was uh, Reverend uh, Father. Asek. So at the end of the blessing, Father Asek told me, he, 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 he told me that, uh, but uh, Mr. Pierre, this office is uh, very small. Uh, in 2015, I received the, the visit of uh, one of the, the, the boss of Miserio. So we talk about uh, everything, the activities, and then uh, I raised the issue of uh, an office, but he told me that uh, they cannot build an office for us now because we have not yet shown how we are capable of. He want to see Caritas impacting people's life. He want to see really the result of the activity. They have already sponsored a three-year phase project. Let them see the result before they give an answer to the office the construction of an office. So when uh, we then uh, go through that uh, three-year phase, Miserio send an uh, external evaluator, an expert. They choose an expert and then they send the expert here. And uh, during the evaluation, we went to the field, we went to Bafia, we went to, uh, to Muyuka, we went to many other communities in Diang in uh, Kupe Manengumba when we were still working and then she come to realize that uh, uh, the results were quite good. So now Miserio too was very, very happy because some of, most of the indicators were, were achieved at uh, at least 90%. So uh, we now presented a, a project to, to Miserio and uh, Miseria accepted to, to support us. And uh, as you can see, uh, we first presented something. It was not like this, but uh, we have to take into consideration our vision, our philosophy. So uh, to build something that will take into consideration sustainable development. So this is why you see us uh, using these uh, compressed earth blocks, something that would take into consideration uh, the available resources that we can find in, uh, in uh, our area. So this is how we come about with uh, this uh, uh, very big uh, building. This building, which is set to host about 26 offices, is not limited to Caristas offices, but other diocesan and services such as the Catholic Education Secretarial, Economy of Communion, the Diocesan Health Coordination, and a host of other services. The idea of bringing all these services together is brought forth by His Lordship Emmanuel Bushu, Bishop of the Diocese of Boya. According to him, having all these services work in synergy would create more impact rather than having them work independently. The constituents of this building include... On the second floor, we have the office of the director, and uh, the Secretariat. We have the Office of the Vice Director. We have Man and Woman Empowerment Department. 
we have uh, agricultural department, we have health department, we have uh, eco-tourism and sustainable architecture department, we have uh, the finance department, we have statistics and control department, we have uh, human resource department, we have accountancy and stock department for the second floor. On the first floor, we have the conference room of about 100 seats. We have meeting room of 10 seats. We have meeting room of 10 seat number one, meeting room of 10 seat number two, meeting rooms of 10 seat number three. We have a department for CES, Calic Education Secretariat, on the first floor. We have also the marketing and communication on the first floor. We have a department for painting, art, works and handicraft. We have a department for uh, services of water and hygiene department. And lastly, on that floor, we have the department for statistic control. On the ground floor, we have the following. The restaurant that will serve to both the public and uh, the, the workers of the Caritas office building. We have uh, a kitchen attached to the restaurant. We have a bar which will obviously serve like drinks and other stuff or maybe water in the course of working you can buy and drink from to the restaurant. It is an independent unit for the office which serves the public and even workers of Caritas. We have a microfinance department that is on the ground floor. We have a museum and a library on the ground floor. We have uh, a department for CES again, that is for Calic Education Secretariat's office on the ground floor. We have uh, the department for handicraft, medium-sized enterprising for tailoring and uh, tailoring and uh, 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 decoration. We have also a department for <coughs> hairdressing. Other recreational services incorporated in this building will generate income to sustain the activities of characters. During the construction process of this building, the engineers took into consideration social inclusion as they make provisions for a ramp to ease access to the building for persons living with disabilities. This is the area where the landing will be. Mm -hmm. hopefully, hopefully by next week we pass around here, you, you see it will be constructed already. So we will plan a ramp here so that when you come you can turn, you, you land on the first floor. And... From August 14, 2018 till date, the actual receivable work at the Caritas construction site is at 97%, pending 3% completion. This constitutes of electrification, plumbing, installation of wooden doors, painting and glass work which is being done in progress.